What's up Jets fans, it's Christian from the Jets Report and today this is going to be more of a surprising video. I mean I wasn't expecting to make this video but recently uh, during today Bless Austin was actually just cut from the Jets. I'm a little confused by this move to be honest. I thought Bless Austin was locked to be one of our starting corners. We have a very inexperienced cornerback room and he was a three. He was going into his third year. He had the most experience. I thought he was a lock to make this team. I, I thought that he was going to be one of the guys on the outside next to Bryce Hall. But today we just got news that Bless Austin was cut. So, I mean, I, I know Joe Douglas always has a plan, and I, I trust him. If this was in past regimes, I would be much more concerned. But it's still a little shocking to me that he got cut. I mean, our cornerback room is so inexperienced right now. Before, when we had Bless, we had about five years of total experience in that room. Now we're down to two with only uh, Bryce Hall playing last year and Javelin Guidry. The rest are all rookies. This is very shocking to me. Uh, it makes me nervous for week one when we have to go against uh, Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, Terrence Marshall, all those guys. Like, it's just going to be a very interesting scenario. I mean, I thought Bless Austin, like I said, I, I, I always thought of him as a solid guy. Obviously, he was never an all-pro or a pro bowler. But, you know, he was steadily getting better. He showed improvement. And, you know, we just kind of used a late-round pick on him back when he was drafted. And I thought he was a great value pick. But... Now he's gone, and it doesn't really make too much sense to me. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about this move. Well, what do you think JD's plan going forward is? Do you think we could go out and sign a guy? Does he expect someone to get cut? Uh, I don't see him just rolling with all these young guys. I mean, we at least need one other viable starting corner because uh, it's most likely going to be Javelin Guidry slash Michael Carter in the slot fighting for that job. Bryce Hall is definitely going to be one of the outside corners. But then the third outside, uh, the second outside corner spot comes down to Brandon Eccles, Jason Pinnock, Isaiah Dunn, all, like, all those guys. And uh, I mean, I don't think any of them are ready to be a starting outside corner in this league. And I really don't want to, I mean, I knew the cornerback room is going to be a tough spot for us this year, but this just makes it that much harder. And I'm very surprised by this move. Like I said, I mean, I'm a little bit in shock. I know it's only Bless Austin. It's not like we cut a major player, but he was still a solid outside corner on one of the weakest position groups of the team. And I thought he was going to be very valuable to this team. So, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comment section about what you think Joe Douglas could uh, do in the future. And as always, go Jets.